Welcome back. Today we have um, a system design mock interview. Today uh, you've been asked in uh, f um, to design Facebook. Um, and basically the system design interviews, it's all the time goes like this. It goes by, uh, by asking a pretty big question like design Facebook, design YouTube, design Twitter. And for fact, these, these systems are built on really a lot of complex different systems designs and architecture and it's near impossible to just to design facebook entire fa the entire system of facebook in 45 minutes or one hour because the uh, the, the period of, of of any system design interview it's just one hour or 45 minutes so if you have been asked to uh, to 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 design such a big system just don't freak out this is normal in system design interviews um basically your your job as an interviewee it's to make sure that you answer the right question so you can understand the problem and establish the design scope so the when 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 your interviewer starts with you with a pre-vague question you should you should provide some clarification questions to know okay what exactly i'm designed so in order to to, to be succeeded in any system design interview, there are a specific framework that we are following. The framework is from four uh, steps. Let me just. The first one is to understand the problem. And this one we do by asking some clarification questions. After that, we uh, establish. Um, um, establish like um, a proposal high level design. We propose a high level design. We pro. Oh, why it's uh, propose high level design. After that, we take a deep dive into some specific component. I don't like that. I don't like that mirror. Again, okay, Mira, thank you. Deep dive in this pump second component. Other than that, we do a wrap up. And in this wrap up, we, you can just uh, discuss some improvements. Um, in each step, it's really important to, to give a time for each step, and also it's really important to know what is the purpose of each step. The first step is that the understanding the problem you try to ask some questions so you know exactly what are you designing because we cannot design facebook all of facebook in 45 minutes it's it's not possible and this one it should takes you like five minutes to five minutes to ten minutes maximum and you should you you should expect to ask like from uh, five to ten questions in the proposal high level design, you start quite slow because basically it's like, let's say that we are going to 1000 mile run. It starts only with one mile. So proposal high level design, you start, you start easy, you start steady, and you start to build the, the, the base idea of how the system works. And after that, you could just add more and more components and make it more complex in the deep dive. In the wrap up, we just, we just try to make sure that we, um, we're wrapping everything up so we didn't miss anything. And also we could discuss some room for improvements. Um, that being said, let's start first in understanding the problem. So in understanding the problem, in my opinion, this is the most important step. In the system design interview, if you get this right, there is a high chance that you can do you can you can you can do it in the interview. If you got it wrong, it's done for you. You can't do it. So, how we can do this one? How how what is the questions? So first, the questions that we want to know what is the purpose of this one. We want to know what exactly what designing. So, the first question that I am thinking about to ask, and there is an important thing to say that there is no uh, one question that fits all, but like there is some framework that we can follow. So the first one that I'm trying to think of, why it's still like that? First I say, okay, what uh, part of, um, of, of Facebook I'm designing? because we know what exactly we want to do because it's not uh, it's not it's it's not easy it's not uh, um 
it doesn't make sense to design the full part of the full Facebook system. So it will say the newsfeed system. The newsfeed system. System. Uh, so user can update, uh, can read and uh, write posts. So right now we know what the most important part. Let me just grab it here. Um, okay. So I'll try to ask a second question, which will be, okay, so um, I will say um, is is uh, is it for mobile and web and maybe uh, you our interview will say yes okay um i say do post will posts have images and videos and just say yes mm -hmm. okay and i'll say okay um is the news feed uh, 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 sorted by uh, reverse order and um or or should we should we care about like a machine learning uh, engine to to give the user uh, uh, the recommendation so it will be like uh, maybe you say like to keep it simple to to keep it simple let us assume that the uh, posts are sorted by reverse order like news first things like that um i maybe right now i guess i have clear idea of, of the functionality maybe i could ask some questions about the scale so i could say um how uh, many friends do does the user have and it will say uh, 5,000. Um, I'll say, what is the traffic volume? And maybe it will say like we have uh, 10, 10 uh, million daily active user. And I guess, yeah, that's it. Um, let's just daily active user and I guess yeah that's it I guess by these questions I guess we have a clear understanding of our system so from these questions if you can see right now our system should be um, we could design we could divide our system into two flows feed publishing and news feed uh, building uh, like uh, read read posts and write posts uh, feed publishing, like when user publishes posts, uh, corresponding data is written into the cache and database. Um, a post is populated to uh, her or, or his friends. The newsfeed building is uh, for simplicity. Uh, let us assume the newsfeed is built by aggregating friends' posts in reverse uh, chronological order. Um, let's let's talk about the the API. Like right now, I guess we understand the problem. Right now we will take uh, we'll take to the second step. We try to propose high level design, and uh, let me just copy this one and make this one like that. So first, I want to talk about the API, uh, the news feed API. So um, in the feed publishing, let's call it like news feed API, let's call it feed publishing API or post write, write, write 
let's call it feed publishing yeah. feed publishing api pub i guess it's not too it's, yeah publishing api so what i think about this one that we could have like uh, we could use like an http uh, post request um uh, will uh, that will be sent to the server the uh, uh, the api it will be like maybe uh, the api will be uh, post uh, it will be post request it will be v1 and uh, for example me and for example feed or maybe me only and maybe the params that i expect to be it could be uh, first um we could have um uh, uh, content it's this and this will be the the text and maybe we could have uh, auth token is used to authenticate the user to the api and um let's just talk about the how the system will look like in the proposed and variable design so uh, let's see that we have um uh we have a user We have here a user. Let's just put the user here. That could be a uh, uh, web or mobile, web or mobile. Let me make this one quite larger. Yeah. And uh, uh, the w the user will connect to the DNS domain name system to get the uh, basically to get the the IP address um, of the load balancer and we'll try to connect with the load balancer load. using this API can I make this API quite smaller like if I make it that small yeah yeah i can make it like that we use this api and after that the, um, the web server will try to we have i guess we have three main services that i'm thinking about like the first one it will be um uh, it will be uh, maybe like a post service and um, Um yeah. Okay. And the second it will be like um a fan out service. Um no, I have two T here and I guess the third it will be um a notification service. And um can I make it uh, like like that because a lot it looks better in this one and yeah and exactly and I guess um um the post service will have uh, like a cache like a cache uh, post cache. and uh, and we have a um, a db post db and yeah yeah so and also the fan out service it will have like a, a news feed cache Um, so let's just talk about what's going on here. So basically, um, uh, a user can uh, can can um, can view newsfeed on browser or mobile app. Um, a user uh, uh, 
uh, makes a post with a content, maybe it will content like hello or like uh, this is a post or something. Um, make a post with the content and I will try to connect with the load balancer and the load balancer the, 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 the load balancer uh, distribute the traffic to web servers we have web ser the, and the web servers here web servers are either the traffic to different uh, internal services we have the post service and this one is persist post in the database cache okay we have cache system and we use cache here so to access the frequently access posts we have the fan out service and this one to push new content to friends newsfeed um, and like newsfeed data is stored in the cache for fast retrieval we have notification service and this inform friends that new content is available and um and um yeah it tells the friends like there is a news uh, news uh, new post is available so basically in conclusion the user is connected with a, with a DNS. It takes the IP address of the load balancer. And once the user gets the, the IP address of the load balancer, try to connect with the load balancer with this, with the HTTP post requests. And the load balancer will try to uh, redirect the, 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 the requests across these this this services. And this is the post retrieval. Uh, this is the, uh, the feed publishing or like the post writing. Let's call it like feed publishing. And let's make the color uh, different. I'm gonna make the color uh, like that, and put here exactly. Yeah, voila. Um, I wanna make a put a uh, a feed retriever. Feed uh, retrieval. And uh, retrie, retrie, well, I guess, yeah, this is right. And this one we try to first, I wanna, let's copy this API and it will be feed uh, retrieving API, retriever. retrieval API and this one it will be a get request not a post and it will be like um, maybe get v1 me it will be get and we could use the same thing because we changed the method maybe you could have a auth token only in the other params maybe you don't need to have the the content because there is no content to, to in the feed retriever uh, we don't we don't create anything in the feed retrieval um, the feed retriever, I guess, it will be quite easier than this one. It will be, uh, we have, um, let's copy this one because, like, we use it mostly. Um, let's, let's here, like that. Can I delete this one? And I want to do it like that. No, no. Um, okay. So it will be the same thing here. However, we delete this and delete uh, um, delete this also as well and i'll delete this and right now it will be low balancer we call we connect with the like uh, web servers and we have like uh, which will be like web web servers and the web servers will try to connect with the uh, uh, a new feed service news feed service and then you see this service will connect with a cache um cache feed uh, news cache news feed news feed cache and i guess yeah it will be much simpler so um 
Okay, so here as you can see here, a user sends a request to retrieve uh, her or his newsfeed. The request looks like uh, this, as you can see here. Um, and um, the load balancer redirects the traffic to web servers. Uh, the web servers, uh, the our web servers uh, route the requests to newsfeed service. Okay, and um, the newsfeed service uh, uh, fetch newsfeed from uh, the cache. And the newsfeed cache store the newsfeed um, IDs, uh, the newsfeed IDs that be needed to render to the newsfeed. Let me just drink water. And um, I guess by this one we have we are finished with proposing the high level design, and I guess we are ready to go to the next step, which is to get like a deep dive like the design deep dive like the and in this one which let's try to think about this one so uh, in the high level design we took briefly cover two flows feed publishing and news feed uh, building and here we should discuss uh, those topics in more depth so um, let's just try to talk about the uh, the feed. Uh, let's just talk about the, the 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 feed publishing deep dive. Uh, so let's let me copy this one because we we'll try to use it. So we could add new components here. So first uh, we have. Um, you will have everything here the same however let me just let me stretch this one uh, can i make this one like uh, like that or can i make it smaller yeah make it really small and uh, uh, we have here the load balancer i want to copy another one and edit here and add a new one here just can I delete this one? So this one will will be the load balancer. Can I just okay? This one will be the load balancer that will be connected here. Okay, and this one will be um. Why it's like that? Uh, make it, make it. Uh, ah. Okay, and this one will be the web servers, and inside the web servers, web servers, and inside the web servers, we will care about the the rate limiting also. And uh, and also we will care about the authentication. We can do this in the in the in the in the load balancer as well. Like like it's okay. Um, in the in the post service, everything will be stay the same. In the fan out service, I guess everything will change here. So let let me let me can can I just make sure that. Uh, no, no, no. Is this as it is? Here. Let me put this one here because the fan out service will take a lot of place space right now. So first, the fan out service. Um, we add a lot of components to it. We'll add uh, uh, to it three main things. First, let me let me let me drag it down because first we will add to it. Um, a graph DB a graph DB and also we will add um, we will add uh, 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 this one to get friends ID and uh, I will take I will after after getting the friends ID we will have like uh, a user cache to get the friends data and the user cache it's connected to a user db
Okay. Um, after that, we have here um, in this in the in the newsfeed uh, uh, publishing service. Uh, we'll delete all of that. We have first a message queue that will get all the the new posts. And after that, we have like a fan out workers. Whenever you have a, a message queue, we'll have a for worker fan out workers to get the tasks from the message queue. And after that, we have the news feed cache that been stored in there. I'd like the workers will store the feed the news feed cache. So um, let us just try to make this. And let's talk about what, what's going on here. So first, we have the web servers that we added some more component components. The web servers here, the beside communicate communicating with the clients. The first thing that we add, uh, we add uh, in the web server uh, the, uh, the rate limiting and 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 off. So basically, beside communicating with the clients, web servers enforce authentication and rate limiting. Only users uh, assigned in with valid auth uh, auth token are allowed to, uh, are, 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 are allowed to make posts. The system limits the number of posts a user can make within a certain period, uh, vital or to prevent uh, a, sma a spam, to prevent spam and abuse content. We have here the fan out service. Most of our new freshly stuff are coming come out from like the fan out service. could just pull this one out uh, up uh. so in the fan out service um, in the fan out service a fan out is a process of delivering a post to all friends uh, two types of uh, fan out models are uh, we have fan out on right also called as push model and fan out on uh, read also called a uh, pull model both models have pros and cons um, uh, we we will explain their workflows and explore the best approach to support uh, our system. So first, uh, if we work with the fan out uh, in the fan out on write, within this approach, newsfeed is pre-computed during write time, and uh, a new post is delivered to friends cache immediately after it published. Uh, the the pros: the newsfeed is generated in real time, and the cache is be, uh, the, uh, uh, and can be pushed to friends immediately. Um, and also, uh, uh, fetching newsfeed is fast because the newsfeed is pre-computed during write time. Uh, the cons: it will be uh, if a user has many friends fetching the friends list and uh, generating newsfeed for all of them are slow and time consuming it is uh, called a uh, hot key problem uh, for inactive user of or or those really log in pre-computing newsfeed waste co uh, computing resources we have a fan out on read so basically the newsfeed is generated during a read time this is uh, on uh, an on-demand model recent uh, posts are pulled when uh, the user load his or her page um, the pros of this one that for inactive users or those who are uh, uh, um, like really log in um, the, the fan out on read works better. Um, data is not pushed uh, to friend so there is no hotkey. Uh, the cons fetching newsfeed is slower than as, as uh, slow as the newsfeed is uh, not pre-computed. We could adopt a hybrid approach to get benefits of both approaches and avoid pitfalls in them. Uh, since fetching the newsfeed uh, fast is crucial, we use a push model for uh, the major majority of the users, for celebrities uh, or users who have many friends or followers. We let flow followers uh, pull newsfeed content on demand to avoid system overload con uh, to to, to, uh, to avoid uh, system overload and we could use like a consistent hashing is useful technique to uh, mitigate the hotkey problem uh, as it helps to distribute request uh, data more evenly so let's talk about the fan out service and how it works so let's just let's just take this things aside and let's just only focus in one so first uh, we fetch this is the first let, let's add here like this is uh, 
uh, first here we uh, fetch the ID um, one we get uh, friends ID let me put it like that and two two we get friends data okay and three we store in the and in the in the news feed so firstly one uh, we fetch your friend's ID from the graph database. Uh, we graph database are uh, suited for uh, managing friends relationship and friend uh, recommendations. Interested in, uh, we, we, we we could talk about this in 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 other video why we use uh, uh, graph and why the graph database is quite important. Uh, the second is that uh, we get the friends data. We uh, get friends data from the user cache system. The user cache the system then filters out friends based on user settings for example if you mute someone uh, her post will not show up on your news feed even though you are uh, uh, still friends another reasons why posts uh, may not show is that you maybe like user could uh, selectively share information with uh, specific friends or hide it from other people uh, uh, three uh, we uh, three we start here we send uh, we send the friends list to uh, uh, to a new post ID uh, to the message queue, and after that we send it to the message queue. Uh, the fan out workers fetch data from the message queue and store news feed uh, uh, news feed data in the news feed cache. You can think of the news feed cache as like a post ID user ID uh, mapping table. For example, whenever a new post is made, it will be uh, appended to uh, the news feed uh, table. Uh, and 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 yeah, and after that we have the uh, we we store the post ID and the user ID in the newsfeed cache, and yeah, that's it. And uh, right now we want to talk about the uh, the tr the retrieving. Let's just talk about the retrieving because I guess in the retrieving we'll add a lot, we'll add tons of stuff. okay uh, so basically we'll have everything here also we will still have um, let's have this one here and uh, can I get I want to get this one smaller really small and just make it here and the loop balancer to be quite up and this one it's deleted and exactly and exactly so and also i will add the uh, we have the newsfeed system the newsfeed service and the newsfeed service will have the newsfeed cache as it is but we add two more things um, um mm, 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 we could have um also we need to have a cdn for example i guess it's important to have a CDN. Uh, CDN, and uh, we will have. Uh, I guess we have like a user cache and user DB and post cache and post DB. Like uh, uh, the newsfeed will connect with two things here, like a user cache. And the user DB. And also, and we will have a post cache and post DB as well. Post cache and post DB. Let me just pull this. Yeah. Okay. So here, um, as it shown um, here, uh, first a user sends a request to retrieve her or, or, or his uh, 
a news feed uh, the request looks like uh, like this exactly this is the requests it will look like this uh, the load balancer will redistribute request to um, web servers uh, the web servers uh, let's just the web servers uh, the web servers uh, uh, call the the news feed servers to fetch news feed the news feed servers gets the list of um, the list post ids from the news feed cache and here a user news feed is more than it just uh, just a list of feeds ids it contains username profile picture a post content a post image etc thus the news feed service fetches the complete user and a post object from uh, the caches uh, user cache and post cache to construct the fully uh, 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 hydrated news feed the fully hydrated news feed is uh, it returned in json back to the client uh, to to the client directly and um i guess i guess we finished right now the the deep dive i guess and it's but it's important to talk about something because uh, as you can see we did talk a lot about the cache so i guess it's a good idea to talk about the cache architecture so in um let, let, let let's just start into talk about the cache architecture and inside the cache architecture it will be uh, we have uh like uh, some stuff first we have like the news feed the news feed layer the news feed no no i guess we need to have like a quite big one the news uh, feed layer and this one will have like a news feed cache I can use feed uh, cache. Uh, after that, we could have like a, a content layer, and this one will have like um, a hot cache and um, a normal cache, also. And uh, we have maybe the social uh, graph, and this one will have like a uh, follower and following, follower and following. Uh, maybe we could have like the action, uh, the action layer. It will have like the liked, maybe the the rep the comment uh the others maybe we have others uh maybe we have like some counters like like counter maybe a uh, reply counter like comment counter sorry and others if we could have so here um, um, a news feed it stores ids of of the news feed uh, content it stores uh, every post data popular content is stored in the hot cache um, social graph um, uh, social graph it stores a user relational data action it stores info about whether the user liked a post replied a post or 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 uh, took other actions against a specific post the counters is stored the counters for like replay followers following etc um i guess we finished the we finished the the full system right now and like in this video we designed a new feed system and our uh, our design contained two flows feed publishing and and and, and news feed retrieval and like any system design interview questions there is no perfect way to design the system every company and every uh, uh, every team has its unique constraints and you must design the system to fit those constraints and maybe we um, uh, like understanding the trade-offs of the, your design and and technology choices are important if there are a few minutes left you we uh, you can talk about scalability issues to avoid duplicate uh, uh, discussions only high level uh, talking points are, are are listed for example so for example we could talk like the why we use sql vs uh, no sql vertical scaling vs horizontal scaling maybe we took like master slave database we could talk about like uh, read replicas we could like a consistency model we could talk about like database uh, sharding uh, we could talk about like other uh, other point that we can just keep the web tier stateless. We could talk about like uh, the cache data as much as as we can. We could talk about like support uh, uh, multiple data centers and etc.
so yeah uh that's it for today's video and it was a long video and i hope you like my content if you like my content make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell and uh, no not not system design crash course oh this is this is another thing this we are in the system design mock interview so that's it for this video and i hope you like my content if you like my content make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video and see you guys in future problems